thank you guys for having me. Um, so I'm, I'm here back talking about the Day of Blessing again. Um, we This is something we've been doing, and I think this is a, either the fourth or fifth year uh, we've done it. But uh, it, would, it would be the fourth year. Fourth year to do it. Last year, we changed up the dynamics and how kind of how we operate the Day of Blessing quite a bit. Moved away from using uh, strictly the, the Feed the Children uh, organization and raising money to, to have them bring food trucks. And what we, so what we changed last year is we actually just raised the money uh, ourselves uh, through local churches and went and purchased and bought the food ourselves to, to put baskets together. Or they're really bags, but, um, but to put those together. And that way we were able to ensure that families truly had enough food for a week, which was a concern that was presented uh, from the food trucks. Uh, this year we're doing the same thing. Um, we don't have a, a necessary goal of this is how many families we're trying to feed. Uh, we're just trying to see what kind of money we can get and then go from there. Um, I think I think that works. So far it's working better. It's given kind of breaking it down and putting it in an easier mentality for people to have. So the cost per family is $50. And that's built to feed a family of three to five for a week. And it gives them a, a, a true week's worth of food. There's breakfast foods in there. Um, there's some papers passing around. You can see the, the types of food that'll be there. And uh, breakfast foods, spaghetti, there's enough for a spaghetti dinner, um, uh, all, all kinds of stuff. Sweets, snacks, um, a big bag of beans, big bag of rice, potatoes, bread, like all, all kinds of things, enough for families to eat on for a week. And um, last year we were able to do just over 200 families, uh, which, was, awesome. which was pretty good. Um, it was down from the year before, but uh, it, it truly fed 200 families for a week. Uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm concerned with the year before that. Um, yeah, we got food out to uh, a couple hundred more families, but I'm not sure that it really fed them well. Um, so I think we're on a good track to doing it now, but we've also changed something this year. We're going kind of funneling everything through the ministerial alliance. And uh, that just kind of puts up a, 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 a forefront with the churches, the local churches here, that uh, people can see that we're all working together and uh, kind of unified on this deal. Um, so it's not just something that the Baptist church is doing. It's not just something that this church, or the, the Nazarene uh, with Jeff, and Jeff is a, a very big part of what we're doing. Um, I, honestly, I wish he could be here to tell you guys about this. He's extremely passionate uh, about this project. Um, but that's, that's essentially what we're doing. Um, Feed the Children did contact us because of our, our, our work that we did with them this summer. Um, and they told us that they wanted to deliver, um, uh, I believe, 12 pallets worth of food to us for this event for free. Um, so they're going to do that um, on November 8th. They'll deliver it and we'll store it at the Nazarene Church. Um, and, and now Kyle has mentioned some some contact that they've made with with you guys on that, and I'm I'm just not sure about that. I, I'm kind of out of the loop on that deal, so um, you you guys can talk or figure that out. But but the, all I know is they did contact us to to deliver that food, and, and we're very appreciative of it. We haven't quite decided how we're going to incorporate that yet, um, because what it is is it's 200 boxes of dry goods and non-perishables, 200 boxes of um, the like personal care products, bathroom products, um, need, uh, other non-food items that, that people need. Um, and then two pallets of, it, it's either gonna be like soup or peanut butter or something, something that we can throw in those those baskets and, and sit them. So um, we're working right now to try to figure out how we're going to incorporate all of that into what we send out with the families. So, uh, in, a, in a nutshell, uh, that's kind of what I've got. Uh, our church, uh, I don't know about the funds of the other churches. Our church is, has done around uh, 13 to 1400 so far towards this. Um, and uh, we, we definitely could use could use further funding. We're ending the, the funding date on October. I think I have 
have it on that sheet. I, I believe it's October 29th. Is that correct? Okay. So October 29th is the is the final day to to donate for this. Um, it's possible that you know we we maybe for the next week or so after that, if people want to get in some last minute donations, that's fine too. So, any questions? Okay. Yeah. How do you decide the families that you give? How right. Like that? Yeah, uh, th thank you for asking that. Um, so what, we, what we've done in the past, and it's worked extremely well, uh, we've just basically given the bulk of the, the, uh, the vouchers to the schools. Uh, so the, the schools know the kids, they know the families uh, much better than, than we probably do. Uh, and they have access to a greater body of people uh, by doing it that way. So the bulk of the vouchers goes out to the area schools. Um, they'll go out to Henrietta, uh, Grand Dustin, Dewar, Wilson, Shelter. Uh, I believe those are the schools they're going to this year. Um, but this being Henrietta, the bulk of those will, will go to Henrietta. Um, and then uh, each church that's involved in doing this will also get a, a, a portion of, like, 10 or 12 tickets to give out to people in their body that they know uh, might benefit from this as well. you want to talk about what happens on the day of lesson? Yeah. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll have it, hopefully, if we get enough volunteers to come beforehand, we'll have it nice and organized where families will just come in and uh, they'll present their voucher. We have tables set up. They, they present their voucher. And then we have volunteers that will walk through um, the, the, the whole process. So we'll set it up in the Nazarene gym. They'll walk through the gym, and the volunteers will actually carry the food for the families. And um, they'll pick up uh, bread, potatoes, meat, vegetables, vegetables, so on and so on as it, as it progresses around. And then the volunteers get to load that into their vehicles for them and then pray with them uh, before, they, before they head out. So... It's a it's a very good ministry opportunity, and a, it's a good a good thing that people can one can get prayed for. But then it, it gives us an opportunity to be the ones praying for them uh, and the volunteers that, that are there. So that's a good deal, also. Okay. Any other questions? Do you have any people show up that don't have vouchers? Um, we we do. Um, we I think last year we decided to set aside. A certain amount of vouchers, uh, just in case there were people that came afterwards. And then there's also people that get vouchers and they're not able to make it; they don't show up, stuff like that. Um, so we're always able to find a place for the food to go, uh, whether it's we, we send it home to churches and then they know what to do with it, or you know people get a call the next day like, "Hey, I missed this. Do you still have anything?" And we can maybe not get the full amount to them, but we can hook them up with some of the stuff. But, yeah. So if somebody was interested in volunteering, would they just show up on that day and say, "Hey, yeah. can I help?" Yeah. Sure, you could get in contact with me. I could, uh, I could get people's name and numbers and, and do it that way. Um, we don't have the exact times and stuff set. Uh, we'll, we'll get that out soon. Um, but yeah, if anyone's interested in helping, I would say either contact me or Jeff. Jeff works during the day at Walmart, so uh, it, I would probably. Be Probably be the better, unless you know Jeff personally. <laughs> can, can, you give me the, can you give me the, the time and I'll send it out to our our crew? And Absolutely. We, kind of, if, if, if we're able to. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Good. I, I think that would be great. Yeah. So so if, when, when Jeff will let me know, or if Sam will let me know when when what time uh, everything will happen, and I'll I'll communicate with our. Uh, text message people and, and get that out to you all uh, to let make sure you know uh, that that when volunteers are needed because we're kind of doing that with our our church at the yeah. Methodist Church too and with with our different churches uh, as well. So and then just to give you an idea as far as the time of day, it usually takes place fairly early in the mornings when we start and go through till till we hand it all out till people stop coming. That generally wraps up around here or so. What's your phone number, Sam? Um, you can call the church, 918-652-4277, uh, or my personal cell, uh, which is 918-448-5542. Thank you. Absolutely.
Do you want to talk a little bit about the summer lunch program? Yeah, and sure. What you all did up at the at McCutcheon Park? Yeah. So um, it, it was really neat. We we had some volunteers step forward in our church. So I didn't actually have a huge part in the summer program, which was which was nice. I was able to kind of back off and, and let other people take the reins on it. Um, but what they did was they. Uh, they went and got the food themselves. They didn't do the, the USDA allotted food menu that, that has come in the past, and um, which, which comes with all kinds of stipulations. And uh, you have to do the paperwork just right and be there for so many minutes or, or a, a certain specific time. And then they come check that and make sure everything goes right. When, when we moved away from that, um, which Feed the Children still helped us uh, do some of that. They still got us pallets of food that we could send home with the families and things. Um, but we had members of our church uh, step up and donate meat for the summer. So we made sandwiches. Uh, we prepared, uh, we had some volunteers that would come and just uh, prepare meals for the next day to go out. And uh, uh, so it, it I can't, I can't remember the number. It was uh, in the 1,000 to 2,000 range of meals that were fed this summer uh, up at the Kitchen Park. Not every week, but no, overall. Right. Yeah. Overall, yeah. <laughs> um, so a lot of those are repeat, right? A lot of those are repeat kids. But total, I think it, it ranged in the 1,000 to 2,000. I did not sitting up there. It was hot. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they were sitting up there waiting to feed. And mm -hmm. to did y'all just go up there on random days and wait for people to come by? Monday through Friday. Um, oh, okay. Uh, didn't, we didn't do the fourth, uh, but it was Monday through Friday. And um, uh, June through the end of August. First of June through the end of August. Really? Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. We, we're, we're set up in two locations in town uh, to do meals. We have it at the Methodist Church and then... They're at, by the splash pad at, at McCutcheon Park, and That's underneath nice. the covered uh, covered spot there, and uh, yeah, it's been a big thing up there. And we at the Methodist Church, we have kids come into our gym, and we have, we did like 600 meals for the summer. And it's the same kind of thing. I've got retired teachers that it's it's their thing that they do during the summer, Monday through Friday, uh, and we we had received. The USDA meals, but uh, feed the children is wanting uh, for next summer to do more private, uh, privately funded meals. So we're not bound by uh, bound by the bound by the USDA rules, mm -hmm. uh, which will free it up, and, and we can give more food to the, to feed the whole family and not just the kids that. Yeah. Uh, kids that come so yeah, it's a pretty amazing impact and, cool. and then they come and they follow up and uh, feed the children comes and follows up and sees what all we have going on and uh, supports and encourages us it's never a negative thing from them of like uh, oh we're, we're the government and we're going to uh, you, you aren't following this so we're going to shut you down but they're they've always been gracious to help and support what, what we're doing with the summer you know, program. Retired teachers know that kids don't hunt. Oh, yeah. My yeah. sister's a teacher at the elementary, and mm -hmm. uh, she just tells me that, I mean, we try to help if we can kids in our class and stuff, but it's just overwhelming yeah. how bad it is in our community. And, and it's one of those things that breaks your heart if if you don't have a day that they're not that they that they're out of school, it's like what are, what's going on with those kids? I know the Church of Christ has a big backpack program, but that doesn't. I, I don't know if that covers everybody. It's uh, not enough. For but, probably but fall break and Christmas break. Yeah, but that's that, what she worries about. Them. What are they eating during yeah. fall break? And that, that's what always bothers me about the school systems. That if you go to a four-day school week, it's like. <laughs> and I know Ulk Mulkey is getting ready to switch to a four-day school week uh, this next January, and the Methodist Church in Ulk Mulkey, they're trying to figure out what can we do for the uh, for the Friday when they're out of school. Um, so uh, such a such a tough. My thing. sister has this thing. You know how I grew up with you know parents saying, "Eat that, kids in Africa are starving." Well, right. so my sister's like, "Kids in your." Right. School or starving, you yeah. know, which is 
Well, yes. it's not Africa. I mean, it is Africa too, but it's <laughs> it's also right here. Yes. So, uh, any other questions for Sam? Good job. But we wanted to make sure you all were aware of something else happening uh, for Thanksgiving in a supplement to what we do during the Christmas. So. Yeah. And if, if you do want to donate or know someone that is asking about donations, um, so the Methodist Church is taking them, the Baptist Church, Nazarene, and First Christian, uh, as well as Dewar, uh, they're, they're in on it as well. So, so is your, your church is doing this with them? They're all together doing this? or We we kind of help with, with that. We, I don't know that we've designated funds to contribute to that directly yet, but I know we have volunteers that love to show up to help on that day of blessing, uh, too. We, we have other programs that we support, and so uh, so it, it's a good community. Uh, so we try our best. Do checks, are checks made out to Interstate Alliance? Um, I, I don't recall. Uh, I, I've just been telling people to make it out to the church. And then the church will allow it to go to the minister. But if you if you want to, we, we do have a treasurer to receive that into our account, and we can do that. So if you if you if you want to be in touch with me, or if you want to be in touch with Sam, we can get the money where it needs to be. If you if you want to make uh, make a contribution to that, fifty dollars per family, which seems uh, quite amazing for a whole week to, yeah. <laughs> to do that. Yeah. And it's something that I've been encouraging. Uh, you know, if fifty dollars seems like quite a bit. Um, go in with another couple families, and maybe maybe ten or twelve bucks per family, you can get together and, and feed and feed the big families. Works too. Trying to simplify this as much as we can. Yeah. So if you do think about it, if you have questions, let me know, and, uh, uh, and we'll we'll see what we can do to get get the project help. Can the Lions Club donate some money towards that? Would you like to make a motion? I would like to make a motion that we um, donate some money to that. What, $100? Feed two families? 500 I think. 500 I think. That's a good Yeah. 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 I make a motion that we donate five hundred dollars to um, the day of blessing. I have a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Yes. yes. So that'll be ten families. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, Times five. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>